Munivo Drive is an innovation in order to drastically improve the quality of life and independence for people who are wheelchair bound. It is a smart glass application which enables users to steer their wheelchair solely by the movements of their own head. St. Thomas Aquinas College believes it should be easily accessible worldwide. Our first section is based around the market size and composition which Munivo Drive will be entering into. To begin, it must be acknowledged that the wheelchair market is composed of two different types of wheelchairs, manual and electric powered. Munivo must be concerned with the electric power division. It is stated that the global wheelchair market is expected to grow between 2019 and 2026. It will reach a market value of over $6.38 billion by the year 2026. Munivo expanding the market into the U.S. will make a huge impact on this growth and should take full advantage of it. Next, on slide 1.2, key competitors must be addressed to be possible threats towards Munivo's entry. Companies such as Drive, Pride, Hover Brown, and Invacare are large companies known for the sale of equipment, including, yet not limited, to wheelchairs. As they are already established in the country and well known within the healthcare industry, this will pose as an obstacle. To continue this market discussion, the growth is a large factor enabling Munevo to be able to transition into the U.S. with relative ease. It is noted that 15% of the entire world's population is suffering from a form of disability. Specific data about the growing market includes the following. Every day, there are eight babies born with split spine disability. Every year, there are two million new wheelchair users, and of those, 10,000 require special control for their chair in the U.S. alone. This is the market that Munevo Drive will assist. Slide 1.4. Our team provides exact numbers regarding the population of wheelchair or scooter users of all ages in the U.S., this study was constructed at the University of California and discusses diseases such as multiple sclerosis, which equates to 82,000 people in the U.S. In addition, cerebrovascular disease is 180,000 persons in the U.S. Based on the financials given in Munevo's pitch deck and executive summary, nearly 180 units should be sold in the year 2020. In addition, 68% of the revenue should be attributed to the U.S. sales. Therefore, these numbers should be carried on. Our team calculates that the appropriate number of units to be produced for U.S. sales is 122, creating a profit of about 1,183 euros. Next, our team was tasked with reporting on the key foundations and institutions that work on key diseases or conditions that lead to the need of specially controlled power wheelchairs. There are various organizations in the United States that provide donations and mobility aid to individuals in need. The Christopher and Dana Ree Foundation helps support research in the development of effective treatments and a cure for paralysis caused by spinal cord injuries. The American Spinal Injury Association is a premier North American organization dedicated to the field of spinal cord injury care, research, and education, facilitate the process of penetrating the U.S. market. The Spinal Cord Injury Research Program at Mayo Clinic develops innovative solutions to help people with paralysis. This institution designs and implements programs in health, wellness, and quality of life, including exercise and performance metrics. The Munevo Drive would provide great value in improving the quality of life with those suffering from spinal cord injuries. Next, the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke is a part of the United States National Institute of Health. It conducts and funds research on brain and nervous system disorders and has a budget of just over 1.5 billion U.S. dollars. The institution's mission requires a balance of basic, translational, and clinical research. Employees work with physicians and scientists in both academia and the industry, as this institution agrees that the basic research is essential for long-term progress against neurological diseases. By partnering with this institution, Unevo will not only break into the U.S. medical product market, but also contribute to important research greatly improving the lives of those suffering from spinal cord injuries. Our research, we discovered that major neurological illnesses and diseases typically go to a level one trauma hospital. Level one trauma hospitals provide the highest specialized care, especially with spinal injuries and neurological illnesses and diseases. To be verified as a level one trauma hospital, it is done by the American College of Surgeons. The ACS does not designate trauma centers. Instead, it verifies the presence of the resources listed and the resources for optimal care of an injured patient. These would include commitment, readiness, policies, patient care, and performance improvement. To be verified is a voluntary process and it can last up to a three year period. As you can see, this is a map of level one trauma hospitals, level two trauma hospitals, and then level three to five.
when it comes in the United States, there is only 190 level 1 trauma hospitals. Throughout the 190 level 1 trauma care units in the country, we chose the top five. The first being John Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore. In 1902, the first brain surgery in the United States was performed by Harvey Crushing, the father of neurosurgery at John Hopkins. Since then, the hospital has continued to grow its specialty program. The Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota is very well regarded for its spine surgery expertise. The Mayo spine surgeons have held the role of president through several prominent groups, including the Lumber Spine Research Society and the North American Spine Society. The UC SF Medical Center in San Francisco is home to one of the nation's largest spine centers, where 10,000 patients seek treatment each year. The hospital is also known as one of the largest neurointensive care units in America and as a designated primary stroke center, which is certified by the Joint Commission. The New York Presbyterian University Hospital of Columbia and Cornell was named the number three hospital in the nation for neurology and neurosurgery in 2016 to 2017 and has since then stayed as a strong neurological hospital. When looking at these level one trauma hospitals, two primary departments are recommended to look into. These are intensive care unit and neurosurgery. Intensive care refers to a specialized treatment given to patients who are acutely unwell and require critical medical care. These departments typically have their own floors. Most neuro or spinal injuries and diseases go from ICU then to neurosurgery. Section four. Distribution systems and relevant players. Major U.S. distributors. Our team re researched several U.S. medical distributors and we have narrowed the, the list down to three we believe most closely align with Muneva's long-term goals. BG Medical Supplies specializes in building market share for emerging, high-growth, market-ready medical devices. New Motion is committed to helping thousands of people with individually configured, medically necessary mobility products and services. Sunrise Medical is a world leader in development, design, manufacture, and distribution of manual and powered wheelchairs, mobility scooters, and both standard and customized seating and positioning systems. Relevant Players By joining an association like AvaMed or Medical Device Manufacturers Association, you gain access to a shared information base. Some of these benefits include, included in your membership are access to knowledgeable staffers specializing in FDA approvals, the ability to collaborate with both industry leaders and startups, discounts on industry-related education, and exclusive free webinars that will help launch Munevo into the U.S. market. Section 5. Reimbursement from Public Health Care. Important Information. Under U.S. FDA classification, Munevo Drive is considered 510K exempt, which means that it does not have to undergo pre-market testing. Munevo will still be responsible for registration and listing, any corrections or remo removals are necessary, its labeling, and following procedures under the good manufacturing practices. Some important things to consider when getting reimbursed by public health care is that Munevo will need to provide statistically significant evidence that it either lowers costs or improves quality of life. If Muneva wants to be reimbursed by Medicare, then they will need to include patients 65 and over in their studies. Additionally, private health care companies ensure a larger percentage of U.S. population opposed to public health care. However, privatized health care reimbursement is not universal, and many in industry leaders noted that the best approach is to contact the firms individually and ask for their specific requirements. Our team recommends your company should focus on marketing through social media. There is currently a language barrier for consumers. The audience hearing of the Munevo Drive stories is extremely limited and an expansion would boost customer awareness tenfold. We recommend a change of direction to English posts as it is the most universal language in the world and can have a larger influence worldwide. In addition, Munevo should implement the goal of becoming verified on all social media platforms, confirming these accounts are reliable sources of information. Similarly, we recommend working with BuzzFeed, an American internet media company, as they have a large customer reach in the United States and often advertise for emerging tech devices. Our team also designed an app for your company, as the Munevo Drive would benefit greatly from having an app that non-drive users can assist the drive user. Similarly, this app could be voice controlled to aid those suffering from spinal cord injuries. This app would provide a new level of freedom for people using the Munevo Drive, empowering the people and improving their quality of life.